Next, for my finished grade, I haven't added the existing feature lines that were used to create my existing grade. So I need to be able to establish that in order to establish my starting point or my starting grade for my for the center line of my road. So I'll select this existing feature line. You can see it's a feature line right here. I'm going to add that to my finished grade surface. Then click OK. I'm going to call this edge of pavement. I'm going to abbreviate that. Then click OK. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and select my polyline, my join polyline, and I'm going to create a feature line out of that. Create feature lines from objects. And I'm going to I'm going to set the feature line style. I'm going to set it to basic feature line. I'm going to make sure that that's the correct one. Yep, it's set to green. That's good. And then I'm going to leave it on this C topo feature layer. And then I'm going to uncheck erase existing entities because I'd like to have that red center line there for uh, maybe I'll need it in the future. I'm going to assign elevations from these connection points that I just established. Click OK. And I can select from a surface because I've added those existing break lines to my finished grade surface. I can go ahead and choose my finished grade surface. And I'm going to uncheck insert intermediate grade points. We don't really need that for right now. We'll click OK. And you see how it turned this line green. We've got a brand new line here. And if we zoom in and we go up to the top here for our elevation editor, you'll see that we actually have kind of like a grayed out triangle. And that grayed out triangle means that it's picking up the elevation from my existing feature line right here that's been applied to my finished grade surface. And if I go over to the other side, you can see that this is also grayed out. So it's picking up that elevation right there. All of the other points right here, you can see that they're green, which means that they're editable. They're not picking up any elevation. So you can, that's reflected within my panorama palette for my uh, elevation editor. I'll go ahead and check this box.